Yeah, Rabbi, I had a question. Uh, how does how does Judaism define uh, the term faith? It doesn't really. Now, Judaism meaning the Torah. Yes, the Torah, the Torah. doesn't really mean the notion of emunah is not really there. It's more the idea of bitachon, of trusting, to trust that God yeah. is the true God, that he wants the best for you. But it's not the same understanding that appears later on in the Gospels of moving mountains and healing the sick with what they happen to call faith. And this is really the building of Christianity and Islam, this twisted notion of faith. Now, if you ask the average rabbi nowadays, he'll tell you I'm nuts. And it's true, from today's perspective, Jews believe just like Christians and Muslims believe in the notion of belief. In other words, the same level of faith. But the Torah paints a different story. Now, how is this tied to Christianity and Islam and even mystical Judaism? Because they bring faith, not just on trusting that God will do what he says he will do, or trusting that he's the one true God, but faith as man's attempt to manipulate the system. Manipulate in which way? As using this idea of faith of creating, to create a level that has never really existed before. In other words, with modern day faith, people in some way barter themselves into heaven or into some afterlife. I mean, something that the Torah is not explicit on. In other words, the modern day understanding brings man into the picture. Apart from man just trusting, i.e. trust on a one-way street, the modern day notion of faith gets you something for it. It gets you a notion that the three major monotheistic religions have bought into in the notion of salvation. Call it paradise, salama ba, or heaven, instead of the initial message that we see in Torah, which was trusting in the statements that God made, that if you keep his commandments, the nation shall exist, the nation shall move forward. And that's it. It's true. The Torah itself doesn't require you to believe in almost anything outside of the lawgiver himself. There's a debate mm -hmm. on what a Jew actually has to believe in Judaism. So in the rabbinic world, there's three opinions. There's the opinion of the Rambam that brings down 13 things that a Jew must believe. There's the opinion of the Radbaz that basically says a Jew doesn't have to believe in anything. <laughs> and there's the opinion of, um, of Rav Yosef Albo, Sefer Haikarim. So he says that a Jew has to believe in three things. And that is, I think it's revelation and God. I don't know. Again, well, these are rabbinic opinions, but the Torah doesn't really say to believe in anything. Now, it's kind of illogical for you to want to keep laws if you don't believe that God exists, but the Torah doesn't really put a test on faith. It tells you to do stuff, and it separates you from the world on how you behave, not what you believe. That would be kind of tyrannical to have a court acting as mind police. This is why this notion of sending someone to hell just because you don't happen to believe something. Well, most people don't believe things because they're not convinced of them. I don't think, I mean, it would be the work of a true psychopath to condemn someone for what you happen not to be convinced of. Everyone believes in what they're convinced in. Right. So for a Christian to condemn another Christian and say, oh, well, you don't believe that JC is God, thus you are going to be condemned to hell because of that belief. Well, perhaps you're not convinced of that belief. You're using the same senses that God gave you. So this is why Judaism, at least the Torah itself, doesn't play that game. Modern day Judaism has adopted the 13 principles of the Rambam on what a Jew must believe. This is modern day Judaism. The 13 principles of the Rambam is not halakha, it's the Rambam's opinion. I mean, the Rambam wasn't on the Sanhedrin. The Rambam lived 1135, 1205 of the Common Era. It wasn't necessarily just his opinion. He brought down a lot of, of the statements that appear in the Perkei Avot, many other opinions in the Talmud. That's where we get the 13 principles of faith. But there's many rabbis who warred against those ideas or those actual principles that the Rambam brought down. There's a book called The Limits of Orthodox Theology by Mark Shapiro. It's written on this same issue of the rabbis who disagreed with the Rambam's 13 principles of faith. Oh, okay. Thank you. No problem.